Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this week's Teach Me Tuesdays, episode 160. And this project actually was a request from my sister Jackie. And it's an old, old, old um, fold um, fun card. And it had been forever since I made one of these. I had to dig it out of, um, I have a box with patterns and old cards and things like that. So I had to dig, dig my pattern out of there to make it. And I was like, oh, now we have this fun taco set and that's what I wanted to use with it. So that's what we're gonna do today. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you say hi. I'm over watching live with you in the chat. So you wanna make sure you're logged in in order to leave comments. If you're watching the replay, please leave comments below. YouTube will let me know um, that you've, you've left a comment. And um, so I just wanted to um, introduce myself. My name is Diana. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. And so um, I go live Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays and a quick little video on Saturdays. And so hopefully you can um, reach, you know, join us one of those times i usually go three o'clock arizona time um unless something happens but that's usually the time so three o'clock arizona time and we do not change our clocks in arizona so um just keep that in mind when um your clock changes all right so i'm gonna stop blabbering close your eyes while i adjust the camera i tried to, i think that looks pretty good all right so let's get what we're going to be using today. So today we're going to be using some some um, watercolor pencils. Now I'm using the assortment two as well as the assortment one, and I just put them in the little flat um, stamp case boxes, and then I just you know have that out of the catalog so I know which goes where, um, just so I can keep them. Um, together we're also using the taco fiesta so this is the fun stamp set that we're using that is so cute you saw me use it um, last week or the week before we're also using the something fancy die so this is a new um, die that we have right now and I'm trying to get my thing adjusted okay we're also using the memento and crumb cake all right so let's see we also are going to be using the score the, the simply scored all right did you hear me bang my knee on my desk Hoo -hoo -hoo. all right so here is what we're going to be doing so this is my little master that i um i did from the other one and so let's make this together so what you're going to start out with, you're going to start out with an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. And so what I would do, because this is how, how my mind works, this is, you know, all the instructions and all the measurements, and then it will end up like this. And then I just keep these two things together so that I will have the pattern. So the next time I don't have to take apart my little sample. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna set that off to the side. All right, so it starts with eight and a half by five and a half. So this is off to the side so I can follow it and make sure I don't mess up. All right, so we're gonna score it at three and a quarter. Then I'm going to score it at seven and a half. And this is even like how I drive. I turn the map when I turn. And I know that is not how you how you use a map, but that just makes makes my brain figure it out. Then we're gonna come in from five and a half. You want to come over an inch. So that will be four and a half, and you're only scoring to this line right here. Alright. Then we're we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. All right, then we wanna put just a little mark with our tool at the four inch mark. So you have the little mark at the four inch mark. 
Then we're going to flip it. This is just, again, how, how my mind works. All right. So we're going to flip because I want to put a little mark on here. Because let me show you. So see, I put a little mark here to cut. And I want to put a little mark here. So that's how how I figure out because it just makes it a little you know a little easier to to make the marks all right so we're gonna flip it like this so now we have our thingy like this so you you might hate the way I do patterns but this is just how how my mind works so I apologize all right so we're gonna put a mark at the one inch so that's why I do my little, um, I do this and then I do one cut. All right. So we have our mark. So we have a mark here. Then we need to mark here. And that also needs to be at the one inch. So hang on a second. So it has to be at the one inch. So just kind of come from this one and make like a little mark. All right, so this will make sense in a minute. All right, so see we have our score, we have a mark here, here, and here. All right, that's all we need the score for. So that's why you wanna make, why well, I said let's do this together. All right, and you can always go back to the video and pause it and um, slow it down okay so then we're going to take just our scissors now if you want to use your paper cutter to cut along here you totally can but I just use my scissors all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut along this line here now if you have some fancy scissors that um, you know those the jagged scissors or whatever that make little marks you could totally use those then we're going to come from this one over to this one. And that makes, so see, we've got this now. Okay. Then, so let me move this out of the way. So this is what we're aiming for. So now we have this mark here and we're going to cut to that score line. Like that. Then you want to cut from this uh, point to where we made that other little mark here. And you're just going to that, that where we scored it. So now what I want you to do is I want to get take your bone folder and we're going to want to score, increase. And you want to do the same thing here. So score, increase, and then open up your bag. Because what you're going to do is you're going to use this right here so that you can cut this piece away here so that it matches. So now you have your cute little paper bag. So now let's decorate it. And I don't know how to make fancy patterns, you know, um, some people do. So I hope um, if, that if you want to do this and I confused you, I really hope I didn't. But like I said, just you can go back and rewatch the video and um, or holler, holler at me. Okay, so let's decorate our cute little bag. So we're going to use our crumb cake. That's, that's what this cardstock is. And we're just going to put a little bit of um, shadow around the edges just to um, emphasize the edges of our bag. And I'm using one of the blending brushes. Now, this is one of the mama brushes that we've had in the catalog. And we have baby ones coming. Aren't they cute? I shouldn't say coming. They are here in the mini catalog. So if you are doing my spring social, you're actually going to get one of these little baby ones. So we're just going to use the blending brush and I'm just inking this up and rubbing some of it off and I'm just going to get just our edges 
and you just want to be careful because you don't want to to make a mark so you can see um, where the bag cuts like if you leave this folded like this and you and you do your shadowing you're going to leave an edge here so I just kind of got these edges and then you know open it up so that you don't get um, like it would look like you masked all right so I'm just getting some crumb cake around and this just makes your your edges more emphasized but I thought the the new taco fiesta was a cute one this would be a cute card maybe to um, if you know somebody that delivers um, food or works at a taco place or whatever this would be a fun fun card to give them now I'm even doing the back side just so that I don't miss it all right so then we're just gonna fold and we'll see how that looks I think that looks pretty good then while this is closed I'm just gonna do this edge so you can tell by my fingers I've been splattering and having fun because I've got ink all over all right so that looks pretty good all right so we're going to use our memento and we are going to use this as a guide so I'm going to put this here on the front of the bag because this is where I'm going to put my embellishment and I want this to be a guide for where I'm going to stamp long time no taco so this is just going to make sure that I give myself room for my greeting before I start to decorate my bag because I want to put a bunch of fun things on my bag so we're going to put some guacamole Make sure I've got that inked up good. And I'm just stamping over this seam here. So we're just going to put some guacamoles every so often. Now, when I stamp up here, I want to open this up because I don't want any of the guacamoles to go on the inside of my bag here. I want to keep my bag clean. So I think that's pretty good for my guacamoles then we have a big chop a big um taco chip so i'm just using the big one it also has some little baby ones if you want but i'm just going to use um the big ones today and so we're going to do the same thing we're just going to stamp a few around and just hold it closed so that you can stamp on the crack and remember this is going to go on here so we can bring this back because this is going to go on here right so then we can go oh that is almost hidden so we're going to come over here we're going to put a chip here and we'll put a chip here and i don't want all my um chips going the same direction all right I think that's good I don't want to overdo it all right I also want to stamp on the inside now this is going to be glued down so I'm closing this so that I don't stamp in the center here because this is going to go here so the center is actually going to be over um to the side a little bit all right so the inside of my card I want it to say holy guacamole it's your birthday so that's going to go in the center of the card and then i'm going to take that same little guacamole and put right over top all right now i want those to dry a tad before i start coloring them because we're going to color them with the pencils I also want to stamp on here and I want to stamp on here so we have a really cute little avocado so I want an avocado I'll stamp a couple all right and I want a taco on here 
So this is going to be the embellishment or the front of the card. So we have the cute little taco. So now these are on the basic white because I'm gonna color the, the um, avocado and the taco. I am going to be coloring with the blends for those, but I'm not gonna be using the blends on the crumb cake because, and I'll show you why, I'm gonna color uh, on the crumb cake with the watercolor pencils because if I use the blends, it'll bleed through. So see how you know, I was playing? And if you use the blends, it will bleed through the card and I don't want that. So we're just going to use the pencils on the crumb cake, but we'll use the blends on the basic white. All right, so let's get a clean grid sheet and color our cute little tacos. So I am using, like I said, um, the watercolor pencils from the number one and the number two. So if you don't have the watercolor pencils, they're, they're great. Um, they're, they're great for watercoloring. And I love coloring on the crumb cake. All right, so this is just dark daffodil for our taco shell. So we're just using dark around the edge. And it is Taco Tuesday, so I thought it was perfect to do another taco another taco card all right and then the light daffodil to fill it in i'm just going around and around and around and around and that just leaves that nice and bright in the center there okay so there's our taco. Then let's put some lettuce and tomato. So I'm making this be lettuce and tomato sticking out. And I'm going to be using the parakeet because I used the parakeet cardstock right there. So these ones are going to be the lettuce. So I'm just going to kind of go every other one is lettuce and tomato. So that was the light parakeet. And then We'll do the dark. Then Poppy Parade for my tomatoes. So this is just a light. And then the dark. So cute. All right, so there's our cute little taco. Now let's color our um, avocado. And if you go anywhere, they make the avocado while you're waiting. Oh, I love when they do that. I remember it was a long time. Oh, this is dark old olive. It was forever. We lived in Arizona for quite a while, quite a few years before I even tried guacamole. Because I was just like, oh, it's green, you know? So it just didn't look appealing. This is dark parakeet. So it didn't look appealing to me. And then one time we were over at my sister-in-law's and I thought, I'm just going to try it. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. And I wanted to just eat that whole, and this is light parakeet. I wanted to eat the whole bowl. So... Now I love it. I just can't do spicy stuff. And I think not only the color was kind of like, oh, I was afraid it was going to be spicy. Okay, so let's do the pit. Now the pit, I'm using um, six and four of the tones. So number 600. This is a cute set. Oh my gosh. So number 600. And then we'll do a little 400. So it's got a little 
the darker spot. All right, then I'm gonna cut that out. I'll cut that out later, because I wanna get over to um, coloring on my card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be coloring with the watercolor pencils, and I'm just going to color with them regular. I'm not using the blender pen, I'm just coloring them um, just you know, by themselves. And we want, let's see, pumpkin pie. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where's my daffodil? Okay, so daffodil is going to be the, um, whatchamacallit, the taco chips. And it doesn't take any length of time to color these. So I just use daffodil. And very, very quickly. And I just love the look of the coloring on the crumb. Because a lot of times, you know, well, most of the time, I always just use basic white. But this looks so cute, especially with tacos, right? I mean, it just and making a bag, it's got to be crumb cake. Okay, so that was just very, very quickly with the daffodil. Then I'm going to take pumpkin pie, and I'm just going to put a little bit of pumpkin pie just along the edge. And what that's going to do, it's going to brighten that chip up just a tad, and just so it's got another little color in there. All right, so that's a little bit of pumpkin pie. And then it makes it more like a chip, right? All right, so there's our cute little taco chips. All right, then to do our um, guacamole, I'm using the basic gray pencil. And the same thing, I'm just gonna lightly color the whole little, um, avocado guacamole container so that was just one coat of the basic gray then I'm just going to come over and I'm going to push just a little bit harder so that the edges are a little bit darker now if you wanted you could blend it out with the water painter or the blender pen you totally could but I love the look of that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish one, then I'm going to speed the camera up while I color the other ones, just so you don't have to watch me do um, all the guacamole. So then I'm going to go Granny Apple. And then it's Garden Green. And that's just going to add a little bit of different color so our avocado isn't just one color. So let me bring this up so you can see that a little better. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to speed the camera up and color the rest of my um, guacamoles as well as the one inside. There, there's our cute little colored card. All right, now before I cut that out, I also wanna put some splatters. So I have my bronze, so I'm gonna turn this and we're gonna put some splatters just so that we have a little bit more um, texture and things going on our, with our crumb cake. So I'm gonna use the brush side and you can tell I love to splatter because I pretty much wreck the brush sides of my um, blends. Not all of them, but the ones I like to splatter. All right, so this is bronze. So we're just adding some splatters on the inside 
and outside. Now you can do the same thing with the with the stamp and write marker. It's just that um the blends they um dry so much faster. All right, then I'm going to do the same thing with the um this is the basic black light. So same thing, splatter splatter. I just like that look. All right, so see, it doesn't take very long to dry. So while that is drying just a tad, let's bring our taco over and our little, um, whatchamacallit, our little avocado. So I'm gonna cut him out and we're gonna pop him on the front of the card with our taco. And I'm just fussy cutting them. This doesn't have a die. Sometimes I wish we had a die for everything, but oh my gosh, can you imagine? My whole studio would be, there would be dies everywhere. Okay, so there's our cute little um, avocado. All right, so let's bring our card over. So what we want to do is we want to put some dimensionals in here. So let me get some mama dimensionals. Because we want this to, to um, look dimensionally, right? Like we want it to have a little bit. So it looks like the bag is thick. So we're just going to put dimensions here and fold that over. And then that gives that bag some dimension. And then if you, you can also hook it, it just hooks a little bit depending on some of mine hook, some of mine don't. It really just depends on how it scores and how you cut your paper initially. Um, all right, so let's put this on with some dimensionals too. So we'll put our taco on. So there's gonna be a lot of dimension on this card and our guac not our guac, avocado. I'm always calling it the wrong thing. I call guacamole an avocado, an avocado a guacamole. All right, so this just goes on here. And I thought this shape was perfect for the front of the card. Okay, and here's the one I originally did. I always, excuse my arm. So I always start one, I go, oh, next time, or when I do the real card, I'm gonna do whatever. So this looks cute too, and I didn't wanna throw it away because I'm like, well, I still might use it for something. But I ended up liking stamping the long time no taco on the bag. I ended up going, I liked that better because I wanted to put the, um, the avocado in with the taco. All right, so we've got long time, no taco. Then we're gonna put our avocado right here in front of our taco. And that is the cute little bag card. So see, before it was the same size as the parakeet. So you can just see the difference that it would have been, you know, more plain. But then when I put the little avocado, I was like, oh. Um, so then I ended up going this way so you know it's up to you maybe you you would like it better you know that way or whatever so anyways so this is a cute little card so long time no taco and then it just kind of un comes from there holy guacamole it's your birthday but isn't that so fun oh my gosh so Jackie thanks for reminding me about this cute fold it is a lot of fun if you want you could actually put um you know, a gift card in there. Um, you know, you could have things actually coming out of the bag. I just kind of kept it plain, just so that if you've never made one before, you have the pattern now. And um, like I said, if you have any questions at all, um, make sure you reach out, make sure you rewatch the video and make yourself a pattern so that you have it to look at while you're making it, because it makes it a lot easier. All right, so let me um, say see you later, alligator.
All right, so uh, so thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you Friday for my dyes shorts. That's three o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel. Thank you so much for um, joining me today. And um, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out. All right, I'll see you Friday. Bye for now. <laughs>